hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's cold guys like we're in autumn now and this autumn this weather is coming with cold today is 10 degrees in the northeast i don't know like i've been hibernating please if you're coming to the uk come with your warm clothes i said this before come with your warm clothing come with your stockings come with your hoodies come with your warm clothes especially if you have kids if you have kids make sure that you're preparing for them like well if you even have someone in the city where you're going to it will benefit you more you can just tell your friend to help you gather all these things buy them from thrift shops both the ones online and the charity shops around gather them for you and keep so that once you're coming you're entering into your warm clothes and keep you warm leave all those your meal and milk you are going to be packing pack your warm clothes i've said this before Pack your own clothes. That's not to say you should go and start shopping winter jackets, ugly winter jackets. Don't go and be shopping winter jackets that are ugly. Just buy like one. One winter jacket should be enough for you. You come in, you can buy beautiful, trendy ones. Okay? Beautiful, trendy ones. It's not actually that bad, bad. It's not that extreme yet. It's not really cold, cold though. We have not really entered the season, but being that you're just coming in, you might just feel you know a bit more colder than people that are already here and are getting used to the weather okay guys that being said okay guys so there's this organization in the uk that is in london it's getting people to come into the uk and work for them volunteer opportunities right there in london this organization is going to give you a COS for you to come in through the charity work visa. Like I told you people in my previous video that the healthcare worker visa is not the only pathway for you to come to the UK. So when people are sending you COS, 15,000, 10,000, keep your money. You can use it for better stuff. If people saw the last video we did where I showed you the pathway, the skilled work pathway for teachers who will even come, not only that they came in, they will claim a relocation grant of 10,000 pounds for coming for being teachers and for coming to the uk if you have not seen that video please go and see it for more detailed information now this pathway is another opportunity for you to actually come to the uk and volunteer for this organization they're going to give you their cos you're coming through the charity worker visa route okay so this particular one is going to benefit people that are single if you are single and then you meet up with their other requirements, their other criteria, then you're going. Okay. So the reason why they want people that are single basically is because they promise to give you accommodation. And according to them, they don't have accommodation suitable for married couples or couples coming with kids. So just for your own welfare, it's ideal that you are single for you to be put in such you know environments where you're going to be sharing rooms with people and all that is not suitable for couples or, or for kids. Okay, that is just basically it. However, the charity worker visa route allows you to move with your family. It's a temporary work visa that will allow you to come to the UK and stay up to 12 months and you can actually move with your family. The only thing is that this particular organization, they are not having provision for people that are coming with family. So they are saying that they want only people that are single. Okay, but other organizations that you, you will find out later on, are going to allow you to come with your family the charity work visa is going to allow you to come with your family it depends on which organization you've gotten a job and their requirements so i'm going to take you to their website we're going to see the eligibility criteria guys it's as simple as anything there is nothing much in fact you're not even going to write ielts you don't need to write ielts you don't need all those big big things that all that visa in fact this is to me a very easy pathway for you to come to the uk just make sure that you secure a job and you're already there let's go to their website so that you will see more about the eligibility so guys the name of this organization is lee abbey london it's a student accommodation a company that offers student accommodation for students in and around london okay so lee abbey offers a self-centrally located and diverse student accommodation house in london providing a home away from home to 150 students from all over 30 nations cultures and faiths with great facilities a huge private garden catered meals and social events and a community experience unlike anywhere else near imperial and ucl so this is basically what they do 
now when you come to what we are here for the volunteering opportunity in lee abbey you're going to go to working for us join the team you are glad you would like to explore joining the team as a residential community member bracket voluntary worker before you start please note it is genuine it is a genuine occupational requirement that you must be a practicing christian it's evidence of a growing christian faith and involvement in a local church lee abbey london does not have suitable accommodation for married couples or families if this applies to you lee abbey london may not be for you you will not we will not issue certificates of sponsorship for couples or families you will be expected to share a bedroom with other members of our community lee abbey london is a residential christian community living working and worshiping together with us in a community is a requirement okay so some initial questions are you a christian do you have jesus as a lord and personal savior all of them are the marital status do you have dependent children so and it goes on after filling in you continue to the next step so guys this is just basically it the only criteria is that you be a christian because they are kind of a christian community that offers accommodation to students for short stays and for you know longer stays students in and around london so the criteria is that you have to be a practicing christian you have to be single and of course you have to be 18 plus okay now being a practicing christian how do you prove to them you know that uk in uk most of these employers they are very serious about experience when they say they need you to do volunteering work make sure that in your cv you show them that yes you have the experience how do you show them that you are a practicing christian if you have been in volunteering in your church or if you have not been volunteering in your church you have to start now to start coming out in church activities depending on where you worship you can join the the technical team the ushers the people that sweep the church the people that lay readers depending on your church so all those things are volunteering activities that shows that you are practicing because at the end of the day they will need you to get a reference letter from your church leader, your pastor, or your reverend father, or your priest, or whoever that is the leader of the church, they might need you to get. They will need you to get a reference letter from this person. How do you come out so that these people can identify you? Okay, so if you're in this particular church and you need to get a reference letter from your church, how do you project yourself so that when you come for that reference letter, your church can actually say yes, that we know this sister, or we know that brother, that she's actually been participating in this unit or the other unit is by joining church units. That way you can have the experience, the volunteering experience, you can prove to them that you are a Christian, you are practicing and you are like, you belong to the faith. You are not just a Christian that goes to church on Sunday and come back. Because when they say volunteering, they want to know that you have the experience. In the UK, experience is everything. If you don't have the experience, forget it. You're not going to get that job. Even if you're overqualified for that job, even if you're a pastor in your church and you don't come there and show them that you have experience volunteering in your church, as a pastor, as a minister, or counseling, or whatever it is you do there in that church, you did not spell it out that it's a voluntary, is an experience you have, you will not get that job. So, whenever you apply for this kind of job, you go to the spe person's specification of the job and get the details. They will show you details of what they want this person, the role you're going to be performing, what they expect of you, and all that. Carry it like that, go and put it on your CV. That is your own experience, you know. Fine tune it, you know, change the words, you know, so that it will be your own words. It's not like you copied and pasted, you know, so that it will be different from this other person or every other person's CV, but it is still saying and pointing at the same thing, okay? The same um, skills and the same abilities. That's where you are, you know, giving yourself that edge, okay? If you are single, this is an opportunity for you to explore. I don't see what you have to lose. You are, they're going to give you accommodation. They'll be paying you stipend. Of course, you know that the charity work visa, one of the criteria for you to qualify to get the charity work visa, even from gov.uk, is that the work you are coming to do is not paid. It's a voluntary work. So this company, Lee Abbey, they are not going to be paying you. Of course, you're coming to volunteer, but they are going to be giving you a stipend of £50 a week. To me, £50 a week where you are being given accommodation, you are being fed, you are being paid accommodation with bills inclusive. You're not paying for water, you're not paying for electricity, you're not paying for council tax and all that. <laughs> it will do. £50 a week will actually do. Okay, so now Lee Abbey 
will not allow you to come with your family because they don't have provision to cater for family. But don't forget that the charity work visa can actually allow you to move with your family. So the benefit there is that when you're coming with your family, let's go to the ukgov.uk so that we will see the, the requirements for this charity work visa. Then I will show you how you can navigate through. Okay, guys, this is gov.uk, the official website for the government of UK. Charity worker visa, temporary work visa. Okay, look at it. You say you can apply for a temporary work visa if you want to do unpaid voluntary work for a charity. You make the other eligibility requirements. Okay, your sponsor, you must have a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed employer before you can apply to come to the UK to work. So in this case now, Lee Abe will be your sponsor who will give you the certificate of sponsorship for you to apply to come to the UK as a charity worker to do voluntary work for the organization. How long it takes? You can apply for a visa up to three months before the day you are due to start work in the UK. Once you apply online, proved your identity and provided your documents, you will usually get a decision on your visa within three weeks if you are applying from outside the UK. Okay, how much it costs? Pay the application fee, pay the health surcharge, which is usually £6, £624 per year. Prove you have enough savings. Check how much you need. How much you need will be here. That is how much it costs. Application fee, the application fee for each person applying is 259 the fee in, is the same whether you are applying from inside or outside the UK. You can stay up to 12 months or the time given on your certificate of sponsorship plus 14 days, whichever is shorter. What you can and cannot do, you can study for some courses you will need an academic technology approval scheme certificate. You can work for your sponsor in the job described in your certificate of sponsorship. You can do a second job in the same sector at the same level as your main job for up to 20 hours per week you can bring your partner and children with you if they too they are eligible what you cannot do is to receive any payment for your work take a permanent job or get public funds guys is that not as simple as abc to me it's very simple prove you have enough savings check how much in the eligibility requirements to be eligible for a temporary work visa, you must have a certificate of sponsorship reference number from your UK sponsor. Have enough money to support yourself in the UK. You will usually need to have at least £1.2270 available unless you are exempt, be 18 or over when you apply. You cannot get this visa if you were given a religious worker or charity worker visa in the last year unless you can prove you were outside the uk for the whole of that time what this means is that this visa cannot be like an extension for the charity work visa you are already doing for example if lee abe gets you employs you for example now to come to london to volunteer for them for one year and at the end of their one year you want to now find another volunteer organization where you will now apply again to go and volunteer for those people again and get another charity work visa now to start another one year running this they said you cannot do you cannot apply for this visa if you have been given a previous a religious worker visa or charity worker visa in the last year okay unless you can prove that the one you got that last year that you have never you've been outside the uk the whole of that time you never came in you never took up that position your employer must make sure your job meets uk employment law if your employer does not do this your application will be refused certificate of sponsorship is a unique reference number that holds information about the job you will do and your personal details it is not a certificate or a paper document your sponsor will give you the certificate of sponsorship so money to support yourself you must have at least 101 pounds to 70 in your bank account to show you can support yourself in the uk you will need to have the money available for at least 28 days in a row the 28 must be within 31 days of applying for this visa you will usually need to show proof unless either you've been in the uk with a valid visa for the last 12 months or your employer can cover your costs during your first month in the uk up to one pounds to seventy. so what this means is that you need to show proof of funds you know that you have one pounds to seventy in your bank account except if you've been in the uk for the past 12 months maybe on another visa 
on a student visa or another visa now you've been in the uk for the past of maintain you don't need to show proof of funds or if your employer can show that they can sponsor you they can cover your cost for that first month up to one pounds to 70 then you don't need to show proof of funds a partner and children will also need to prove they can support themselves while they are in the uk okay if your employer can support you instead your certificate of sponsorship must confirm this your employer will need to complete the sponsor certifies maintenance section of your certificate this is under additional data so if your employer can sponsor you and they can also sponsor your family once they complete this section in your certificate of sponsorship sponsor certifies maintenance that means you don't need to show proof of fund for either you or your family all you need now is to pay for your visa pay for your ihs fee and you're on your way okay okay so guys you could see from the gov.uk website from the home office that you can actually come with your partner on this visa pathway on the charity worker visa pathway but this particular company lee abbey they are not having enough sufficient accommodation to you know to maintain families to maintain people couples or people that are coming with families so what that means is if you're single okay it's convenient for you to just join your application but what if you're married you can actually come alone yeah you can actually come alone if you're married that is if you can be separated for your family you know for a long time now if you're married and you want to come you can actually come alone and work for lee abbey while your family applies as your dependent under the charity work visa pathway and then they will still join you however they will not be staying with you in the accommodation that is provided for you by the company they are on their own that is basically what it means so if you have it depends on the ages of your kids if for example you are coming with your wife you don't even have kids of course your wife can be in another part of the, the city in another part of uk doing her own job then if you're coming with kids and your kids are grown to the extent that your wife can actually manage alone because if your kids are still little child care you need to alternate child care kind of so that you know both of you can get something meaningful doing if not if your kids are grown that your family they can actually stay without you you can get them an accommodation somewhere else your wife will be there working while you're working for this company you are in the accommodation they gave you of course during your off times you, you have off days you can visit your family okay and then you people will be doing it like that your wife being your dependent she can get any type of job at all as long as she can do that job she can get any type of job at all as long as she's qualified to do it so while you're, you're even working there as a voluntary worker your wife can be can get a job that will sponsor her so by the time you fu you finish your volunteering activity maybe they gave you a 12 months contract by the time you're done with your 12 months contract or your six months contract depending on the the activity the length of time they gave to you by the time you finish your volunteering you can now move in to switch to become a dependent on your wife's skilled worker visa that is if you intend staying back in the uk you can now switch to become independent to your wife who is now already working and has gotten a sponsorship from a licensed sponsor and you now as a dependent you can explore so it's a win-win it depends on how you navigate it for people that are single you can just come alone for people that are married even when you you come in as a married couple you might be saying 50 pounds per, per week what am i going to be doing with 50 pounds per week but don't forget that they are paying for your accommodation they are paying other things and if you are coming with your spouse really your spouse can be working and be making the money if 15 pounds is a little money for you for whatever uh, engagement you left at home that you need to maintain while you're there your spouse can you know work and kind of augment for the meantime until you're done then you can now switch and you can explore you can do any other type of work you want to do so this is actually when we this organization is not even the only one that is sponsoring people to come to the uk and do volunteering activities for them there are a lot of them this video is actually to open your eyes to this opportunity so that you can research more you can go to google and find out volunteering opportunities you can find in the uk in any city of your choice you can decide london you can decide any other city you can decide countries like england like scotland like northern ireland just go and search and research if you have any particular place where you want to stay you can search for the volunteering opportunities in that area if not you can search the whole of england or the whole of the united kingdom 
okay this is just like an eye opener for you to see that there is actually something like this going on you can actually come in to the charity worker visa where you come in and work as a volunteer in a charity work visa position work as a volunteer to an organization who have the license to sponsor volunteers to come and work for them you can even find volunteering activity in charity organizations yeah you can find that too so it's all about how deep into the research you go you find this opportunity so this is more like bringing you this information to enable you to go out and research more lee abbey is not the only organization out there that is giving this kind of opportunities they are just the ones i know the one i know that i know someone who used this pathway to cross over you know so there are so many other organizations which you can also explore it's there for you to do your research now okay guys so i hope that this video is well informative and that you're going to make good use of this information even if it's just one person that to say oh through this part where you mentioned i was able to successfully secure a job and relocated to the uk with my family like i'll be satisfied it will give me that satisfaction so guys if you have watched this video up to this time and you've not hit that subscribe button why why want you want? why don't you want to support me come on hit that subscribe button and support your girl until my next video guys do take care of yourself love yourself and be good Bye bye